in Birmingham. We had a house on Cliff Road. It's still there. <clears throat> and the door was never locked. So long about, maybe it was about 1955 or 1954, something like that, uh, the police came by the house. They had discovered two young children, nine years old and ten years old, in a vacant lot. And they talked to them, and they understood them to say that they were having a duel with these swords. And the police officer said, what happened to the 11 eggs you stole with these two swords? And they said, we threw them at houses on the way to where we were going to have our duel. And um, so they had scooped them all up and um, they took the two children downtown and they brought the sword back, to, uh, swords, plural, back to us. One of them, one of the swords then, was Herman Goering's evening dress sword. My father was Richard Foster Howard and he was the first director of the Birmingham Museum of Art. Um, called the Oscar Wells Memorial Building. But during the um, sec Second World War, he was a um, colonel in the heavy artillery and participated in the Battle of the Bulge. And then he moved away from the hostilities over through northern Germany and down into Berlin. My father, by that time, had become a chief of monuments and fine arts, the chief of it, of monuments and of fine arts. Well, my father went to Spandau prison and interviewed Hermann Goering, who was, I guess you would say, the sort of heir designate to Hitler. Goering and he were interested in some of the same things. They were interested in hunting and in fine guns and in the military and in art with a capital A. That is museum, storage, inventorying, works of art, all kinds of things. And Goering wanted to impress on my father that he was not some barbarian who was just going to destroy everything. Well, whether that's true or not, it, it, I don't have any idea. I was a five-year-old child watching all this. So Gehring told him, my father, to go to this country house and pick up a sword that he had been given by um, Karl Maria von Erzog, who was a noble, Ikota, it's a noble family, <clears throat> and um, picked this sword up and it said on the sword, um, in comradeship, friendship and comradeship, uh, and then spring of, but it said the actual date, of 1934. So my father went there, he said that he could have it. Um, and um, Gehring said he could have it, just go get it. And it's a prix de me, which means in French, prize of friendship because he felt they were friends. That's Gehring. So Gehring beat the hangman. He killed himself. And his sword then traveled with my father and his things intact with a lot of things, a lot of things, to this country. And it ended up in our house in Birmingham. The other sword was um, given to my father by a German officer who was trying to get away from the Russians. This was after the Battle of the Bulge. My father was near Hamburg and he was heading to Berlin. And um, he took over this house, it was a country house. This person, I don't know his name, but he was on a horse and he uh, had arrived at his own country house which had a courtyard and an outer gate 
and it had a double door to get into the house. So this man was able to open the outer gate and then he rode straight to the house and he knocked on the uh, door. My father had uh, occupied the house and he thought so much of the propriety of it, of doing the right thing, that he slept on the library table on his uh, knapsack and all of that, his kit, um, and took care of the house and didn't even sleep in one of the beds. And so, without even getting off of his horse, he went into the library and he stayed on his horse and put his sword over his arm and surrendered it uh, as, as a ceremony of honor, pont d'honneur in French, point of honor. Um, and my father accepted it and as per his perception of the way he had seen people treated, uh, that is treated with dignity, he said to the person, on your own, please go down six or seven kilometers uh, and turn yourself into a, the prisoner of war camp. And if you don't mind, I'd like to keep this sword um, as a memento um, more. Memento more is a reminder of death. And it's a beautiful thing, but it's also a reminder of death. And so it has kind of a double meaning to it. So he said, keep it in that spirit. And um, you can see these are two gentlemen speaking with each other. So he did, he turned himself in like that. And then that sword, as I said, made it all the way to Birmingham. So that's the story of two swords that were placed um, in my father's keeping for a while.